Hello and welcome back. This is Mrs. K's way of comparing ratios. We're going to be doing a short video on how we can use our understanding about ratios in order to compare two or more. But today we're just going to be comparing the ratios of a pasta recipe. I'm getting ready for the holidays and I'm getting really excited to be able to cook for my family and friends. So I was looking up some pasta recipes and I wanted to compare for my two recipes the amounts of the cups of water and I want to compare that to the cups of flour. So I have my recipe that I found on Pinterest and I found that um, my recipe says that it needs two cups of water to every three cups of flour. And I know from my previous videos that I can write this three ways, using a colon, using the word two, or also using a fraction. And I look at my other recipe, which happens to be my mom's family recipe that she learned from her mom and so what my grandma used to make, and her recipe asks for three cups of water to every four cups of flour. And I can see that I have written that three ways as well. My goal for this video is I would like to see which of these two recipes, my recipe or my mom's recipe, has the smaller water to flour ratio. So what I need to do is I need to be able to compare both of these different recipes. And the first place I want to start is by write, rewriting my ratio of two cups of water for every three cups of flour to my mom's three cups of water for every four cups of flour. I chose to use the fraction equivalent that we have up here and I want to write down here because I know that my fraction equivalents that I'm able to easily find equivalent fractions or equivalent ratios and I do that by trying to find a way to compare my denominators or my amount of cups of since this is my flour I want to know how many cups of water will be in each of these if my cups of flour are the same. So I know that if I multiply, or if I quadruple my recipe, that I get 12 cups of flour. And if I also quadruple my cups of water by multiplying it by 4, I know that I have 2 times 4, which is 8 cups of water for every 12 cups of flour. That's for my recipe. Now, if I want to try to get my mom's recipe to be in an equivalent ratio, I need to also get her ratio of water to flour to also have 12 cups of flour. So I triple her recipe. I also triple by multiplying by 3. 3 times 3 gives me 9. So for my mom's recipe, she needs 9 cups of water for every 12 cups of flour. Now I'm able to put both of these different ratios side by side and I can see that I do have one ratio that is larger than the other. Since my question is I'm trying to find out which has a smaller ratio, I want to find which of my numerators are my amount of flour, if they're the same, which has a smaller cups of water needed. And that happens to be my recipe. So if I'm comparing it using inequality, it would be I would have 8 cups of water for every 12 cups of flour for my recipe. So my final answer would be my recipe. Let me scroll down a little bit. My recipe has a smaller water to flour ratio. I also know that I can be able to use my equivalent fractions to be able to simplify. So if I was started out with 8 cups of water for every 12 cups of flour, I can also, instead of multiplying, I can go backwards and also divide by 4 in order to get my most simplified version, which is 2 thirds. So I can use my understanding about fractions in order to use my ratios to compare. So thanks so much for stopping by. Hope this video didn't make you too hungry. We'll see you tomorrow.